Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel. We're going to start a new game in the Apocalypse mode in the Tsar Bomber difficulty hard. People have been asking me to play more. Uh, after 30 episodes, 30 long episodes, I finally got rescued by the military. Pancake and uh, two family members. Now the challenge is to make them all survive or win on the Tsar Bomber difficulty. Since the Tsar Bomber difficulty is a achievement, I really would love to get this one. As you noticed, I have no time to actually look around where items are. So I just have to, well, hope for the best when I run into a room. The challenge today is going to be the father-son challenge, meaning I'm just going to grab Timmy and all the other items that I can get. Oh, I thought a radio takes two slots. Never mind then. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab all the items I can. Benefit of having just two characters or two family members to sustain or well, not to sustain, but to feed. You need way less food and water. Or if you have more of it, you're going to survive much longer. I mean, you're going to be able to f survive for 10 days with uh, a single bottle of water with two people. Even more if only one person. But usually one person goes crazy. And I would really love to grab that medkit. Just that medkit. Oh, it's going to be close. Really close. Well, let's see how much... We could have gotten... I don't think I got the gas mask, which is a bummer. Usually the military drops something. I have no idea how long I'm going to survive on the hard difficulty. It might be really short. We'll see. Uh, Could be better. We didn't get the Boy Scout book. I had no idea where it was. But we have the bug spray, which doesn't help us without a Boy Scout book. Um, We got playing cards, flash... Eh. At least we have quite a lot of water and food. And a med kit, so we could send someone out early if we'd like to. But since we don't really have a need to go out, I mean, there's there's no need for me to send Timmy or Ted out right now. We have food, we have water, we have company. What else would we need? Anyway, the Father's on Challenge. I'm curious if I could make it in here. Would be really nice. I'm trying my best. We heard something about supply drops on the radio. This might just what we need to survive, and it's supposed to happen near our house. If only I had a gas mask. I I mean, I can send them out whenever I want, but apparently you need a gas mask to go for that supply drop. I can send them out to the wasteland anytime, but eh, what can you do? So I hope that the numbers are still right, meaning that we will have to give them water on day five and not day four or something. Well, I guess I'm going to learn now. But I think uh, the same numbers and whatnot applies, just the chances of you, well, succeeding at events and the likeliness of you encountering a bad event are higher. This is terrible. We can't sleep. We've been having problems with sleeping ever since we got down here, but now it's worse than ever. So I have the choice now for them to get be tired or use the med kit, and I think I'm going to let them be tired because I don't have an intention of sending them out right now. It's not good for their sanity. Sanic. But, yeah, they're just tired. So we're fine. Timmy's in terrible shape. Ted, like, he's got one foot in the grave. Yatta yatta. Time for water. They can hold out 40 days just with the water we have. So, uh, we felt like something was staring at a corner of the show that we think it's a rat. Well, let's shoot the rat then, or whatever it is. But yeah, 40 days with the water we have, so not really a need. They seem a little bit bummed out, which is understandable. He lost his sister and mother. Um, it is dead now, quite dead. Good, very good. Nothing to worry about. And what's that trickling sound, and why is the wall so wet? Are we about to get flooded? We don't have life preservers or a boat. A boat wouldn't even fit in this shelter. We need to do something, save that supplies. I'm gonna get the radio. And it is looking grim already. Um, I might not really attempt that many episodes to really win the hard mode. Um, but I'm really looking forward for the DLC, the suitcase DLC that's gonna come up. It has different endings, which is awesome. And I would really love to check those out. Um, Timmy should eat something. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Well, here you go. We lost just our map and playing cards. I think I'm going to prepare an expedition for... Eh, not tomorrow. We're just going to wait until the uh, irradiator area is gone. The radiation is gone. Usually that would last way longer, but... What can you do? It would be weird if you had to sit for years in there for that to go away. Timmy doesn't eat much, but he should drink. Timmy has rested. Yes, yes, yes. It's fine. If there's anyone who can rescue us from this hellish situation, it's our government. I don't know. I kind of lost my... You know, I kind of, kind of, kind of lost hope that the government will actually rescue me 
on that Star Bomber difficulty because it was so hard on the normal one. It was so hard. The government has not found they're coming to save us. That's what they always say. And then you die. End of story. The problem is simple. If you don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. It smells really bad down here. It doesn't seem like it'll get any better over the next couple of days. How about we do something to fix it? I'm going to use the box spray to deal with that. I hope that's not going to be a bad idea. Let's see. Nope, it's a good idea. Because I want to keep the ammunition in case a trader comes by for food. So that's good. Time for water. Day 10. Ah, still irradiated. Timmy's not the best condition to venture outside. Hey, we're gonna wait. No need. Our hideout was approached by a man we didn't know. He claimed he used to be an accountant, but now he survives as a trader and a gambler. Two water bottles. I would totally play for water bottles if only I had cards. Well, I figure you could always just flip a coin or something. It's still gambling. Gambling is a terrible habit. No news is good news. No problems are troubling. Ted, this fine morning. This fine morning in our little shelter. What could be better? Me and my son, Timmy. Bonding. Listen here, son. It's gonna be rough out there. Timmy's good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. Good, good, good. We've been hearing a lot of noises coming from our neighborhood today. Our guess is that there was a zoo escape and the animals are stampeding out there. It might be a good chance to hunt some fresh food. Who should go outside? Ted, let's send the man. And if he gets injured and doesn't bring soup, we're just going to use our med kit. Seems like he wasn't successful, which is a shame. Too bad we never practiced sharpshooting. Every shot we fired in the direction of those animals that looked like two-headed cows was a miss. Let's hope we'll be on target next time. Safely returned. Okay, at least he didn't get injured. Timmy is hungry. And Ted is hungry. That's not a problem. We have plenty of food. Plenty of food. Still not sending anyone out there. I'm just waiting for the events. I'm not going to send anyone before the radiation goes away. Or at least the government tells us it's safe again. Whereas Water when Ted's needs it. Timmy's in terrible shape. Yes, yes, yes. Tomorrow. There isn't a lot of space down here and we can smell everything. When one of the wall bricks got loose today and revealed a hole, we felt pretty sick. It's the smell coming from the hole. It's terrible. Should we investigate? Yes. Let's investigate the hole. It might be a crazy cockroach jumping out, attacking our radio, something along those lines. Or it's another can of soup because a rat died there. Yes, it's a rat. We gave the rat a prepper burial in an empty can. He deserved that much after giving us some food. That's good. That's good. Water is now a little bit more of a concern, I guess. We need to give him water. Ted looks like he got one foot in the grave. Yeah. Day 15. That's time for water. I really would hate to miss that. Gotta be careful to not miss uh, every fifth day. Today an army broadcast interrupted our let's call it breakfast. Anyway, they seem very eager to evacuate us from there. They need a map. Hmm. Yeah, I do not have a map. We kind of lost that in the flood. The great flood of 1950 or something. I have no idea what the exact year is. I assume it plays off the fear of the Cuban Missile Crisis. We were sure we could find the location without a map. Timmy might not look like it. Yes, yes, yes. He's just doing fine. I mean, we're doing great. Nobody's crazy. We have food. I mean, the military doesn't know we're here. Which is... really a big problem. I will still go with the old strategy where I'm saying after day 30, I'm gonna open the door. Before that, I'm not. Memories are not. We need to keep our heads clear and get a grip on reality. I agree. Doing just fine. Uh, here's that. No one is talking. Not a word in hours. None at all. We can't just stare and stare at the walls. We need to do something about this. Well, yes. Let's listen to the radio. Unless it breaks and explodes. It kind of likes to do that. There's our two-headed fallout cow. Or whatever their name is. Uh, some water for Timmy would be nice. I bet it would be. And yeah, let's listen to the radio again. The more I use it like this, the more I wonder if it's going to break. Seems good. What would I give for a broadcast that we gotta use our flashlight? Um, day 19. Wait, do they want food? Timmy's very hungry. And uh, needs a drink, okay. It's weird that it always deviates in time in terms of food, what they need. You would expect a nuclear explosion would enough would be enough to quench any petty arguments. Never. Day 20. Well, I gotta say, 
for the fact that this is the hard difficulty, I'm, I'm surprised we're still here. We could barely sleep after all that arguing. Timmy is in terrible shape. Ted is hungry. Well, first of all, water for everyone and food for Ted. And I should consider sending someone out, which will be Timmy. I can't send Ted, obviously, so Timmy's my only hope here. Timmy, how would you like to go out there without a gas mask? How, how would you like that? Uh, do we need anything? Nope. We don't. Oh, some of us are keener to go outside. Either it's time to choose the most able and responsible person. Yes. Timmy, you are the most able and responsible person. Also the only one that I can send. You better bring back some good stuff. Uh, yeah, we can't put anything on the map. Still, I have my doubts that this is actually working. That you click somewhere and it affects what you're scavenging. Timmy went to the wasteland. Calm day. Oh no! Transmission from the army, they would need a map. We don't have one. If only I had the voice scout book, I might have gotten a vent to repair it. For now, I just gotta have to hope that we get the flashlight uh, transmission. Uh, where's water when Ted needs it? No. He'll get it. As we're considering alternatives to canned soup, a sudden knock at the door broke our thought. Oh, a band of survivors. Do I. You know what? I feel generous. I feel generous. Let's see if Karma will come back. We're gonna give a can of soup to the survivors. You know. The humanity. Our visitors had problems finding enough words to express their gratitude. Ah, that makes me happy. Ted looks like you got one foot in the grave. Yes, yes, tomorrow. We're about to go to sleep when we heard scratching coming from the door. At first, it sounded like an angry rat trying to eat the damn thing. We soon discovered it was something much worse. Someone is on the other door trying to pry it open. We need to act. Well, we're gonna use our rifle to send the bandits running. And Timmy's back. Hey, Timmy. Looks like you brought an axe? No. The gunfight was intense, but our position gave us the advantage we needed to drive those thugs away. One of them even lost an axe while retreating. Wait, great. Um, the police station. We reach a police station. Um, one can of soup. Well, Timmy wants to eat something. That's a shame. Only a can of soup. Well, water for everyone, obviously. Since it's day 25. And yeah, we're not gonna prepare an expedition. We're gonna have to wait. Mutated rodents are taking our supplies. We're not sure if they're rats, feral bunnies, or just mutated hamsters. Well, doesn't matter. Let's chop them up. And eat them. No, seriously, let's not eat mutated creatures. Yeah, water is not looking too great. We can... How much longer can we make? Like 10, 15 days. So we should be able to make it to at least day 40. Yeah, that was the plan all along. Cans are safe. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Then we should eat something. Ted is hungry. Here you go, go. Here you go boys. Mm. Oh, right, the water chip thing. Uh, let's not give him water. Did I, did I now click the water and can't unclick it? Is that a bug? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No, I can't. Okay. Because those... No. Oh, I already gave him water. You gotta be kidding me. I can't unclick it? No, I can't unclick it. I'm giving him water. This is the worst. Well, I guess it's going to be a little bit more urgent now to get out. At least we have a gas mask. That's nice. We explained politely that we didn't have a water chip. Well, and we lost another bottle of water. Ah, well. Let's prepare an expedition. Ah, well, not now. Uh, yeah, let's listen to the radio. We really need water. This is now a big, big problem. We can drink one more time. Oh, where did the water come from? Some friendly soul in the radio was talking about a supply pack she lost during a trip during our, uh, through our town. We immediately realized she must have driven through our street. We rushed out and got the package before anyone else. Two bottles of water and one soup. Neato! Really neat. We can't leave Timmy without for water. Yes, yes, yes. That brings us up to uh, half a bottle for five days. Five, yeah, that's like 25 days. We should be able to make it to day 50 without going outside. Mm, that's great. On one hand, I do not want to send anyone outside because we might get an event where it says like the military wants us to meet them and we gotta send someone and then I don't have anyone to send because they're all fatigued. I mean, the only person I can send is... <sighs> it's the map again. The map, of course. I do not have a map. Maybe if we send Timmy out, we get a Boy Scout book. But for that, we're going to have to wait it out until Timmy is not tired anymore. Okay, it's day 30. Time for more water. 
Uh, no expedition. Timmy's done. Uh, we we're about to go to sleep when we heard someone knocking at the door. Who could it be at this hour? Who would have been the part of the wasteland? <sighs> okay, I said after day 30. It is day 30. It is way too early for the military, I feel. <sighs> Guys, I'm, I'm kind of stuck here. I, hmm, should we open up? Someone's knocking. They might steal our water and our food and everything. Or it's the military. All right, all right. Or it's a prank. It's a prankster or the military or the bandits. Let's hope for military or pranksters because it's day 30 and I said day 30 I'm going to open up, not before. Okay, it was a prankster from what it looks like. Yep, nobody there. Damn pranksters making jokes even after the apocalypse. <sighs> Damn you. Damn you. Oh well. Timmy is still too fragile to be sent out. So we are just gonna skip ahead till we get more events. Who would knock and just go away? The worst. The worst. <sighs> Timmy is on his best behavior. How long will it last? Hmm. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna whip his ass if he makes problems. Uh, do the, no problems. I don't need water. Ever since we jumped into a fall each other, we've been wondering about that other door on the shelter. Should it even be here? Where does it lead? I'm gonna check it out with the flashlight, and I hope that it will lead us to a map. Nope, it didn't. It did not lead us to another map. It's probably just empty. Yep. We inspected every corner of the room and found nothing. Well, that's a waste of time. Timmy's very hungry. Okay, he, here you go. Wait, was it Timmy or Ted? Timmy is very hungry. Whoops. Reading helps. It's actually a really great thing. Reading, you know. Uh, if Timmy goes out now, he might die now. Oh, uh, Timmy didn't say a word about it, but when he was outside, he scratched his hand on a wire or some other rusty piece of metal. His wound is not looking pretty, and we need to do something about it. Do we really? Couldn't we just, just, just ignore it? Okay. If I use the axe, chances I'm gonna lose the... Eggs, obviously. If I don't do anything, I can use the med kit later on. So let's just play our odds. Let's see how this goes. If he gets sick, I can still use the med kit and he's gonna be fine. If I don't use it, he's still gonna be fine and I didn't waste the med kit. Yeah, that's not even a decision. Usually when that happens with the axe, just let him get if you don't have him if you wanna bet on it and you don't want to lose either, just wait. Just wait a day. And if he gets sick, you can still heal him with the med kit. The best medicine for any sickness or injury is to clench your teeth and ignore it. Yes, that's especially for anything like, you know... Oh, don't worry about that severed artery. Just, you know, clench your teeth. You're a man. You don't need all that blood. Blood is for women. Something like that. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Timmy's in terrible shape. And here you go. Dum, 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 dum. We can barely breathe in this damn shelter for the last couple of hours. The situation has been getting noticeably worse. Oh, no! It's the bugs in the ventilation system. Well, we are going to get sick. At least one person is. Or hurt. Ted. Guess we're going to have to medkit here. Ted was hurt. Uh, what to do? Water. First of all, water. Does anyone need food? No. Looks good. Ah, let's heal him up. Let's give him the medkit. We don't want to this to turn into an infection or anything. Ooh, okay, a traveling salesman's paid as a wizard today. He introduced himself as a willy. Apparently business can do well after the end of the world. Good, okay, so we could exchange a gas mask or a rifle for four water bottles for a rifle, two cans of soup for a gas mask. No, 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 I'm not going to give away my rifle for four bottles of water. It's pretty great, though. I'm 100% sure that the game is all going to be... Hey, you just gave away your rifle? Let's do some events. No, I'm not going to give away my rifle. We just stay safe. We have water for eh, a few more days. Ted injuries are all fixed and Timmy seems okay. It's the map again. That silly map. Timmy, I need to send you out for a Boy Scout book. You need to be all good. You're still tired and fatigued. What can I do to fix Timmy up? There is not a whole lot I can do. Oh, spiders. Spiders everywhere. They're in our soup. They're in our water. We swear they keep coming back. <sighs> Again, we're going to see if we get sick. 
Nope, we look good. The spiders didn't do anything to us, but they might have stolen some food. We decided we could get rid of those spiders with our bare hands, feet, and whatever body part we could use for lethal anti-spider attacks. Okay. They're really fast. All we achieved was getting tired. Ugh. Okay, let's hope that isn't going to be a problem. But, yeah. As long as we didn't get sick, I'm happy. Oh, it's Timmy's birthday today, and I don't have a gift for you, Timmy. I'm so sorry. How about the gift of life that I gave to you by bringing... Oh, he's crazy. Fantastic. Thanks. Now I can't send him out at all. <sighs> Timmy was driven crazy. Kids these days. You get me an iPhone. I'm crazy. That's fantastic. Now I now I have to worry about that. That means very hungry. Fine. Well. Awfully quiet. The only thing I can do is now hope for events, for scavenging events, because I can't send Timmy out like that. Day 40, which is, I think, still pretty impressive. Just doesn't help us too much. Okay, it's time for water and food for 10. Yeah, there's not gonna be an expedition. Oh, a trader interested in ammunition. We can trade it in and maybe we will get a bottle of water. Knowing my luck, it's going to be food. Yep, it's a, it's a can of soup. It is a can of soup. I would prefer the water, but hey, better than nothing. Timmy still hasn't recovered his full mental competence. We wish we could help him somehow. Hmm. I don't know about that. You know, he's he's not coming back. No, he's not coming back. Well, at least there's nothing to worry about, Ted. So that's something. I think Timmy's a goner. As long as Timmy doesn't break anything, I'm okay. But I can't kick him out either. That's, that's, that's the thing. He's my son. Kicking out would be mean. Then again, I just left my daughter and my wife voluntarily at home. I seem like the person that would kick out his kid out of bunker. I'm the worst. Okay. Timmy's acting really weird, weirder than usual. Really? He killed his teddy bear and has a soup can on his head. I think that's already weird. Timmy has been talking about going to the surface to explore, run, dance, and play with whatever burnt remains can be found. Hmm. Should we let Timmy out? Eh, no. No, he's not gonna come back. On one hand, I wouldn't mind not sharing my water with him. On the other, there is still the options that he's gonna get normal again. So, as long as that chance is to... Ugh, the map. This is frustrating with this game. This is really frustrating. I can't do anything without a map. And I can't repair my map without the Boy Scout book. So I'm essentially stuck because I can't set Ted scavenging. So, as long as the game doesn't offer me anything, like, hey... Check out this map we found in the other room, or magically gives me a Boy Scout book. I can't really do a whole lot. Timmy's very hungry. Well, Timmy, that really sucks, doesn't it? Here, I'm gonna give you both food. And hear that? Noise is coming from below. This is probably the right time to check out the manhole in the corner, the one that's been locked tight ever since we got to the shelter. Um, let's use the axe and fight the crocodile or alligator. I don't want to break my flashlight on the off chance that... Oh, we got a med kit! We found a treasure down there. Pills, bottles, and other medical supplies were stacked on a few shelves down in our room. Just enough to stock our first aid kit. Good for us. Huh. That's great. Ted is fine. Hmm. I would send you if I could, Timmy. I would send you if I could. But I can't. I gotta say, 50 days on hard would be mm, a little achievement. Uh, gave us a heart attack. What what happened? Gave us a heart attack. Upon waking, we saw a bizarre creature resembling an ancient Egyptian mummy. Mummy, covered from head to toe in bandages. It sat very still and looked at us with its piercing eyes peering through the cloth. This dirty, seemingly terrifying being turned out to be our son, who, led by his madness, apparently believed himself to be some long-dead pharaoh. Despite his protest, we helped him out of his costume. It seems he's holding a grudge. He moved into the corners, currently trying to force a couple of very confused cockroaches to build him a pyramid. Unfortunately, the bandages happen to come from our med kit. Right now, they're useless, all torn and dirty. During his struggle, Timmy also managed to break all the pill bottles. Thank you, Timmy. Thank you. Thank you so much for ruining our med kit. You idiot. <sighs> Timmy needs something to read? No, Timmy needs an exorcist or... Slap to the head. Just use the back of the axe and smack him in the head. He'll be fine again. He'll wake up. 
We don't need no education. It's a new world and schooling won't make any difference. It's all about who owns the most cans now. One can, two cans, five cans. We can leave Timmy without water for too long. Ted needs water to survive. Yep, we'll see about that. <sighs> Timmy, should I even give you water? Should I even bother with you anymore? I mean, I could have five more days just without you. How about that? Timmy's in terrible shape. He needs water. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I, I think Timmy is a goner. I think we need to make a hard choice here. A really hard choice, which is going to be to not give him water. And keep the water for Ted. Sorry, Timmy, but you just ruined my med kit. And uh, since I couldn't send you out, you're just... Uh, it's the map again. Damn military and their silly maps. I'm pretty sure that that map in the background still looks fine. Oh, Timmy's gone. What a shame. What, what, what an utter shame. It drove him insane. He was already insane. Ah, well. We were sure we could find the location without a map. We were wrong. That says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. Well, at least Ted got a few... Wait. Yeah, he got a few more days. Until day 60, we can do this. Um, a knock on the door. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't play for water. I would totally play for water. But I don't have two bottles of water. Hey, Ted. Ted has gone crazy. Well, go and eat some soup. What will take you away first? Will it be the madness or will it be the lack of water? I personally think it's going to be the water if I had to bet. But who knows? Crazier things have happened. Our patient is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside if there's any trouble. Oh, yeah. It's probably... Uh, pancake. Might as well not shoot him. I don't think we're gonna get pancake in our bunker here. <sighs> ah, well. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs water. Well, six more days. It's coming down to what the game gives me in events. It's pretty much the last thing I can do. Unless Ted runs out first for being crazy. That would be bad. Okay, here's, here's a bottle of water. The last one. Ted is happy to risk his life. I bet he is. I bet he is. I gotta say, you really screwed up without a Boy Scout book. And learning now from my experience, I will never attempt to run again without a Boy Scout book. And so we are left with no photos, no news, and no happy thoughts. The world is cruel. I agree, Ted. I agree. Um, nope. Still no event. Four more chances for an event that will bring us water or actually free at this point. Well, on day 60, it's going to be too late, even if we get something. <laughs> it's the map again. It's the magical map. The game is taunting me. It's like, oh, oh, you don't have a map? Man, man, if you had, if you just had a map, that you, you, you would win this. Man, if only, only you had a map. I, scratching at the door. Well, at least I can feed Pancake. I did something good in my last few days. It's day 59. Unless I magically receive a bottle of water tomorrow or today, I'm screwed. Ring, ring. There it is. Thinking would never hear a telephone signal again. Might as well send the crazy Ted out uh, to answer the ringing phone all across the street, which never has anything useful to it. So it's it's really useful. It's just a tomato uh, soup seller. Is that a thing? It's a sales message for canned tomato soup. Anyway, that's that's the last day. It's the last day. Ted had always ha had a harder gold. That's why we weren't really shocked to find him feeding our supplies to some disgusting fat cockroach. Well, both Ted and the bug seemed really happy. I'm happy that Ted fed pancake and he fed a cockroach. So he did something good. Um, that is the last day. And there's no event. So I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys so much for watching. Wait, what? How am I still alive? How, how am I? It's day 61. I'm not supposed to be alive, but I... Oh, maybe because he went down one day. That resets the water for some weird reason. Man, premature. Premature. But I'm gonna die now or tomorrow or... Yeah, yeah. That... 
to be expected. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did and want to see more attempts on the Tsar Bomber difficulty, let me know in the comments below and I would gladly do so. I'm looking forward to the suitcase DLC. This is uh, the latest one. I'm going to continue this series again, but I'm glad to try challenges or something along those lines. We spent 62 days in the shelter. That's something. Anyways, I'm Weasel. I'm out. I perished. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.